What is up everybody? Welcome back to a new video. So today's video is super special because it's actually going to be an updated version of an old video I did several years back called How to Find the Key of a Song by Ear. So I'm actually going to be doing um, like an additional method to the uh, to the old video. Um, so I'm basically going to be explaining both methods in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the link to the original is in the description below just in case you're interested in what I did. But uh, yeah, in today's video, you're going to learn the updated method that I use to teach all of my students all the time. So hopefully it helps. So let's get right into it right now. All right, welcome to the keyboard view. So let's get right into it. Um, the main thing I would say is uh, the ability to sing is very, very important. And even if you feel like you, you're not a singer and you can't sing, um, you should be able to basically just hold the tone even if it's just for a few seconds. Uh, that's very important. So when you listen to your favorite songs, you want to be able to hum along with them at least so that when you're not listening to the song, you know, um, you can listen to it first, hum it, hum along with it, turn the song off and hum the exact same thing without wavering too much in pitch. And this is kind of the first fundamental step. So just learning to sing, just take some practice and doing that over and over finding the spot in your voice where it feels comfortable to uh, sing the pitches along with the singer. And especially in pop music, it's a lot easier because the range of the melody, like the lowest note to the highest note, is not very huge. So, um, you know, usually that that's not too difficult. So uh, the main secret is to uh, basically listen to the piece of music or to the song, and you want to basically try to identify where the tonic or the home of the of the song is. So usually uh, that is at the end of a certain phrase or at the end of a sentence in a song, okay? Let's take uh, a really, really basic example like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, if I just sing, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Which of those notes feels like you've arrived back at home? Or you, I, I, and I guess another question could be, which one of those words made it sound like, you know, I was um, finished? You know, so one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Now, in my case, I would say that R, the very last note, makes everything sound complete and finished. And you'll notice that's the end of the sentence. So this is a very typical example of where you would find the home of the key. It resolves back to the very first note of its key or the scale. So that can be the first note you try when you hear a song and you're like, okay, what's, what could the key of this be in? So then you go to that last note, you sing it one more time to yourself. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And then you can sing that note with a word or you can just hum that pitch. And you're going to try to start finding, finding it on the piano. Now the octave does not have to be perfect. So for example, you know, this is a C, but this is also a C, but, um, it doesn't really matter which C you play, as long as you're able to hear that it is a C in the first place. Same for G, same for A, and so on, all the letters, you know? So let's say I wanted to try um, E first. So I'm humming this. That doesn't really sound like the same thing. You'll notice that the note I played is also higher uh, than the note I'm singing. So if I sing that again, you can kind of hear that the note I just played on the keyboard is higher than the note I'm singing. So what I'm going to do is actually move my finger down an octave here so it's closer to where, you know, where my, my voice is sitting. So that'll make it a little bit easier to identify um, if the, you, you know, if the note I'm playing is the note I'm singing. So, mm, that still doesn't sound like the same note. Let's experiment a little bit more. Mm, And what am I playing? That is a C. So you just need a very basic knowledge of your instrument. You know, you have to know where the C is and so on. You, have, you should know where your basic notes are, where, you know, where they lie on your instrument. So in my case, because I'm a piano player, I know the C is right here. This is middle C I'm pointing to. And um, so I can be pretty sure that the key of the song is in C major. Okay. And then if you play your C major scale... You can see that if you sing your song one more time, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. You'll see that you're able to play that song, that melody in the scale of C major without any problems. Okay. 
So let me show you uh, a, a, an, an example that wouldn't be incorrect. So let's say, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Let's say that note you felt was the one that uh, you know we felt back home at. So you felt like the star is the note that's the key. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And now you're finding the note, star. Okay, now we hear that it's a G, star, right? This is why, again, singing and humming is very important. So just practice holding single notes until you feel stable holding a single note. That's basically how you start singing. So, star, now what note am I playing? This is a G, right? So if I play a G major scale, right? Um, you'll notice I have the F sharp in there, so that's what makes G major. Now if I sing, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So, twink, twinkle, twinkle. Already, that doesn't sound quite right. So, G is probably not the very first note of the song, if that makes sense. Um, and, and just the overall tone of the G major scale, it, it still sounds like a happy scale, but it, it isn't quite... Uh, it doesn't quite fit with the tone of the melody I sing. It sounds kind of like a different key, you know? So that's kind of one thing you can do, um, and that's using more of your ear. However, if you already know how to play the melody um, on your keyboard, then really it could be any key you want to. So another method I teach my students is to really sing the melody along and try to play the notes until they find the notes of the melody. So in Twinkle Twinkle's case, let's say we're starting on C. Twinkle, twinkle. So da, da. And if you know your knowledge of intervals, you can hear that's a fifth. So do to so, do re mi fa so, right? C to G is a fifth. Then you go do, re, do, so, so, la, la, so. Fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do. And again, you should feel that the C is home, okay? And so now you can now you can see that the notes of the scale you just played, or I should say the melody that you played, all belonged in the C major scale. I didn't play any black notes, right? Now you could say, okay, maybe it's an A minor, the relative minor. However, I didn't land on A. I didn't land on A as the last note in any phrase. So C was kind of the target note where I went back to at the end of the phrase. And that is kind of your, um, you know, a big clue to tell you the key of a song. So two basic methods. Number one, um, listen to the song. Hum the song until you can hear uh, or try to identify where the tonic note is or where the note uh, or where the song kind of resolves to, right? And usually that is at the end of a phrase, end of a sentence. So, um, twinkle, twinkle, little stars, that's the very last word of the sentence. How I wonder what you are. And I used that note, hummed it, and tried to find it on the piano. And then when, as soon as I found it, you know, that gives me a really big clue that it's actually in that key. So in this case, C major. Okay? Um, the second method, of course, is to just find the notes on the piano until it sounds correct, and then you can see what notes am I actually playing, and then you can identify, oh, it, these notes actually belong to the C major scale, or the G major scale, and so on. All right, for another example, let's use Bruno Mars's classic song, uh, Count On Me, okay? So if you know the chorus, uh, you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. Da -da 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 -da, oh yeah. Now to me, the very end of that chorus, do, 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 oh yeah, that yeah really sounds like it's the end and, and kind of resolved, right? See, it feels like we went back home. So again, I'm going to choose that note to, um, to basically find my key. So I'm going to hum that note. And there we go, right on the C. And now you can basically tell that it's in the key of C major. So now if we try to figure out the melody, um, you know, just by playing the notes, this might take you a little bit of time, but again, with a knowledge, a solid knowledge of intervals and a good ear, you can play the melody. And again, you'll notice that all the notes that I just played were part of the C major scale. So this is very crucial. Um, 
just, you know, just as a recap, making sure that you, you have the ability to hum us and sustain a certain note for at least five seconds, you know, um, this takes some practice, but if you hum along to your favorite songs and really slow down and analyze then each note in the melody, you should be able to hum along and, and sing with the song. And then once you hear that part in the song where everything feels resolved and it came back to a conclusion, a very comfortable conclusion, you can take that note in the melody and uh, test that out. So you can play the note, um, you know, hum the note, sorry, and then play it on the keyboard until you find it or on your own instrument. And then play that scale and see if the overall vibe of that scale matches the song that you're listening to. If not, it's very possible that the note you're singing is not the actual root or the tonic of that key or scale. I hope that makes sense. I'll, I can do some further videos on this, but um, the general idea is to find the root or the tonic of your of your song or piece. And that is really the crucial way of um, you know finding your key. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Again, this is an updated version of the uh, finding a key by ear video I made many years ago. So um, I hope this made some sense. And just be sure um, to download the five-step guide to playing the piano with confidence and ease. This is very, very important. Um, it basically contains five essential concepts that you need to know in order to play the piano with confidence. Um, super fundamental theoretical concepts and also practical ones that you, you should know uh, in order to practice your favorite tunes um, and play pop piano the way you want to. So five essential concepts, download them right now in the uh, description box below. It'll take you to a separate page where you can download that for free. It's my gift to you for, uh, you know, thank, to thank you for watching this video, which and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. And until then, have a wonderful day and good luck with all the practicing. See you then. Bye-bye.